welcome to my bikini prep series. I'm so glad I finally got to do this because this is my third time filming this whole prep thing. And um, I need to say sorry because um, I was 12 weeks out and like last week was my 12 weeks and I was feeling very demotivated and I still did some videos but they all just so bad today is my first day of um, 11 weeks out and I just want to share with you all that um, because I I started to prep like two weeks ago so I was literally like 13 weeks out well pick week doesn't count so uh, 13 weeks and I was doing something wrong but like I keep on like doing research every single day and I try all the things that's on the internet and fasting like before I wanted to do this prep because I have been working out for more than a year by now and I was doing intermittent fasting for more than a half year I believe and it works perfect on me but now I am um, doing a bikini competition so I figure maybe I should change it up a little bit to see how my body reacts so I have changed is my diet because I believe that um, you want to do a bikini competition there are two things very crucial one is your diet and second is your exercise like very very crucial especially diet so um, I switched my diet to carb cycling I know this might be a little bit early because I'm now currently 12 weeks out so um, well some people they don't do carb cycling um, like before 12 weeks they do it like at probably like eight weeks out or four weeks out depends on like your body fat percentage and how you react to um, carb cycling so I'm not doing like a very crazy carb cycle I don't want the gap to be like super big so my gap right now is about like 40 to 50 so okay let's just get into the video because I can't wait to share with you guys like what did I do I was doing like seven meals a day. I'm still doing that, but mm, I was counting my macros, but I wasn't doing carb cycling. So I see that, like, I was only doing, uh, I was only like dropping my calories intake. And I know that calorie deficit could make you lose weight, but it could potentially lead to losing muscles as well so I don't want that and I'm now um, doing carb cycling to see how does it work for my body and actually I don't see a big change I've done this for like a week by now so I will probably um, lower my carbs intake maybe next week because I want to see how this week goes I don't want to be like very very rushed you know I still got um, 11 weeks so the first thing I want to talk about is training. So um, how is my training split? I guess everyone is different because, um, okay, so the thing I was thinking, map out all the sl splits, like um, what am I going to, to do on Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday, blah, 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 to Sunday. Um, I used to work out six times per week and since I'm doing competition, I'm working out seven days per week. But um, I used to take Sunday off and now I'm just, gonna do a light cardio on Sunday I'm not gonna do weight training because I don't want my body to be over exhausted does it make sense for you um, okay so the first thing training splits I am doing right now um, I want to keep my normal routine but um, I, for example my shoulders uh, muscles not very developed so I will like put more effort um, my shoulders and also my my abs I used to train my shoulders once per week and now I will be performing them two times per week and also um, I was doing abs like on my upper body day so right now um, I wouldn't up my 
abs routine, but I will um, up my cardio. Uh, no matter it's head or plyometrics or just steady state cardio. And I think like um, everyone works different. Just find out um, which type of cardio works for you the best. Because for me, for myself, I found that um, steady state cardio uh, get me like the most sweat uh, and also like the most um, obvious result when I do steady state cardio. And also is the one I hate the most. <laughs> Because I love HIIT workout. 20 minutes or 30, you're done, but you feel like the time only passed for like 10 to 20 minutes, not like 30. Stay state cardio. I feel like time passed so slow. <laughs> okay, the most important thing. Wait, let's just focus, okay? Let's just focus. So, um, okay, so my weight training, I want to say um, my plan, the first week to fifth week, um, I will prefer be performing I will be performing um, like uh, big muscle groups I will do five to eight reps like very heavy weight for example um, squats I will do like very heavy for like five to eight reps or deadlift that's like large muscle groups and for like um, accessories muscle group like the small the small muscle groups I will be performing Eight to ten reps. I will be doing cardio for like two to three days for 30 minutes minimum 30 minutes and um, so when it's um, week six to week eight I will up my cardio to 60 minutes um, and also like five to six times per week and next will be 8 to 12 weeks which is like the last month of the competition I will be doing 15 to 20 reps for everything because that's the way you burn your fat so um, lower reps is to pre preserving your muscle muscles because you're lifting heavy and the last month you really want to burn all the fat on your body okay so I will be doing like well, everyone works different, but this is just my current plan and I will be switching up like if I see anything wrong or if it's not working uh, to my body or I need to improve any part of my body and I will be changing up to like a different plan. But this is just my current plan for this 12 week. I hope I won't change anything because this is the perf most perfect plan I have ever plan so okay so um, when it comes to last month I will do cardio for 75 minutes perhaps I could do that and um, I will be avoiding uh, steady state cardio well like the research says that I don't do steady state cardio at the end of the, the prep so um, I will be doing um, a little bit like less intense workout which is treadmill inclined walk okay so the workout is um, explained and now I'm going to talk about diet so my strategy like, I make sure all my food they are clean I don't eat um, processed processed food and anything that includes sugar I eat fruits but I don't eat like sugar sugar and also salt I only eat pink salt or sea salt and yeah like the these two things are the, the thing I care about the most so no sugar and processed food this is my current strategy and the second one as I said like beforehand I am now currently doing carb cycling but I'm not doing like a crazy carb cycling but I will be um, slow increase the gap between the high carbs and low carbs um, just slowly um, increase the gap between these two days so I, I am now doing two low day, one high day, and two low day, one high day, and one mid-carb day, which is like in the middle, not too low, not too high. And 
I will be doing this um, for I think maybe till um, week eight, and then I will be switching up a little bit. Like I, I will still be doing carb cycling if it works for my body because I still want to see like I don't want the result to be like crazy dramatic but I still want to see the results so I will let you guys know how will it go next week um, in case you're curious about my current intake I will just tell you but I want to say that everyone works different and all these macros I count by myself I will link the link down below because um, I think this is very hard to um, actually know like how much should you be eating how much protein how much carbs how much um, fat you should be eating because there are so many ways you could calculate um, as well as um, calories because um, I think you just have to find out like how much amount of these works the best for you because I'm like just, just my just like myself I I do this by myself but I still I'm still practicing and I will see if this numbers is um, right for myself if it's like too low if I'm feeling like very very exhausted and I can't talk I think I can't think I will probably increase my carbs and if I'm feeling fine, if I'm feeling like, oh, I'm eating too much, so I'll probably decrease my carbs. That's my, again, strategy. Sometimes I will have to say strategy. So, okay, so on my low carb day, I'm having um, 1600 calories, 130 um, protein, uh, 110 carbs, and 50 fat. I know like um, 110 carbs, it's a little bit high for a low carb day, but just again, I feel like I don't want to go anything crazy because um, before this whole thing, like when I was doing intermittent fasting, um, my daily carbs intake was about 180 to 200, so I think 110 is quite low for myself. So on mid, mid, mid carb day, um, I'm having 1700 calories, 130 grams of protein, 144 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of fat. And on high carb day, um, I'm having 1800 calories, 130 grams of protein. I, I tend to keep the protein intake the same. And also 216 grams of carbs, not too high either and 45 grams of fat. I want to lower or I want to lower the fat on my high carb day because since I'm eating so much protein and uh, no, since I'm eating so much carbs, I feel like I should lower a bit my peanut butter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The last thing I want to talk about is the reason why I want to compete. Actually, um the reason why, like the biggest reason I want to compete is just because um, I have been training for more than a year, as I said, and I, I started my training in Shanghai. I have never, like I used to train, but not like train train. I just go to the gym like for fun with my friend. That's what I did before I actually stepped into this fitness thing. So, um, I'm actually leaving Shanghai in September and my competition is, in, is on September. I don't see this as an end, but I also want to, I want, I just want to see like, like um, at the end, like what did I come through because um, the results, it's already been like quite crazy. It's been a year and I have seen my body change so much and I just want this to be like, I want to see myself like how good can you do to challenge myself and I want to make this like whole, like my training in Shanghai to leave like a very beautiful ending. So I don't, I don't want to be like very, very care about the, the number and like, um, 
what will I get? I don't. I, I'm. I'm not like thinking I w I'm gonna get like first place or anything. That just that would just stress me out. But like, I just want to see like. Okay, let's see um, this 12 weeks plan you did by yourself. Like, what will you get? Like, this is my just my goal. I just want to have fun, like the whole process. And also, I'm very happy that um, I am so so grateful and so lucky to have friends who could actually um, coach me, like coach me, not like coaching every day. And. Um, they give me advices um, all the time and because they are professional bodybuilders so they're like very experienced like with these things so I'm very grateful and I'm so lucky so I feel like I am more like motivated now and I want I just want to tell like any of you out there who want to compete do it like do whatever you want to do and I would say like have a plan I am like very I'm a person who believe in um, having goals because um, once you have goal you know what are you going to do like what are you going for you know like a person without dream even you, you, if even it's just a dream at least you have something that you know what you want this is so important just sit down and write the things that you want to achieve in 2018 because then you still got time it's only like half year by now so you still got like half a year to go just think like what do you want to achieve um, you don't want to leave any regrets so just do whatever you want and I wish you all good luck just like I do right now so let's do this together and I hope there's nothing missing oh just one last thing um, because I have seen like many girls who come who have competed before they take uh, many supplements but like me um, I am not very like a person who takes any types of supplements the only thing I take is protein powder because um, I want to make sure that I am having enough protein uh, because since I'm training like every single day and um, just in case you're curious I'm um, having muscle milk I am always a fan of muscle milk oh, it smells so good and also um, sometimes sometimes because my mom bought me this calcium uh, tablets so sometimes I'll take it because it's like good for like muscle repairs and stuff so why not you know let me know what you want to see and comment down if you have anything you want to say about like anything about like competition or bikini prep and if there is anything I was wrong in this video you might want to let like the people know who is watching this right now like let's share this together and I wish there is someone who is doing this with me right now and I can't wait to do this it's now 11 weeks out and let's do a little physique update since I was doing um, carb cycling for a week yeah for a week let's see let's go to the same the same mirror and we'll see like uh, how did I do there This is my current body. I don't think I changed much because, uh, you know, I I hope you all have a great day and stay positive, okay? And love your life, love your life, and laugh at your life. Just laugh at yourself. I always laugh at myself when I'm working at the gym this way it's way too heavy or like or like oh my god I'm lifting like a man but it's so funny you know just laugh at yourself like be positive be positive and be confident confident is the key so key just love yourself and love every part of your body it's so important and anyway
anyway, I think I'm just rambling too much. I'll see you guys next time, okay? And yes. I think that's it. Okay, anyway. Bye guys! <laughs>